Hello there and welcome to another week of Candid Moments with myself, Sophia. This week we're talking about peeves. Do not make good pets. Mm -mm. <laughs> Every Friday I share with you at 12 p.m. BST about my little isms that I have. Things can be serious or they could just be something that I discuss with friends and family and thought I'll share it with you. So again, this week's topic is peeves do not make good pets. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn, where I share previous candid moments with myself and you can see all the recordings. So let's go. So as I said, what does pet peeves mean? Sometimes that is a particular, a person that finds especially annoying. So what do you find annoying? There's so much of things that annoy me, but what do you find annoying? I really would love to hear your comments on this little one. And it's not a subject to take serious, but it does make you think about what irritates you. Because when you're running a business or you're at work, there could be colleagues that really irritate you. And we'll be sharing some of those in a minute. Or it could just be things that just irritate you through life. I really would like to know, what are your pet peeves? So there's uh, nine of pet peeves that the public um, see. And it comes from a, a, a big one of uh, things that annoy people, 60 pet peeves that annoy people. So micromanagement is one of them. Most people don't like to be uh, micromanaged and people do that all the time. Loud chewing or drinking is one of mine. Being late, interrupting, talking in a movie, people walk slow, staring at someone's um, phone, or clipping your nails in public, yick. Why would someone want to do that? But I want to know what is your uh, top 10 pet peeves. So mine is um, people who are rude. I don't like rude people. I don't like people who, who just, you know, unnecessarily rude will say something to you without you even asking them to say something. Or you could be walking someone and they've got a comment to make. I was in the movies the other day. I had a, a matinee movie with my daughter and two women, mature women at that, at the back of us, uh, turn off your phone, shouted it out in the movie, disrupting the movie. My phone, I was putting my phone away. I had my phone under my coat. No one should, uh, should have seen it. But obviously she found it to um, be her thing that she needed to do and was rude enough to just blurt it out in front of everybody, disturbing everybody else. Being rude is one of mine. Germs is another one. Now, I laughed at this when I, when I was actually writing this because the government told us all last year, wash your hands. And it was something that really irritated me. Shouldn't we always wash our hands? I don't like germs, so shouldn't we always? I'm always, always one of those germaphobes anyway that I used to, when I used to travel on the train, I'd have on gloves to go down the escalators. You know, I, I'll be one of those people that stood my distance or someone who was sneezing, I'll give them, a, shoot them a look if they didn't cover their, their nose with tissue or coughing. And I, those are my pet peeves, as you can see. People that have dog mess outside of my house is another one. Why is it that when you're walking your dog, you're not cleaning up after them? You know, and you're leaving it outside people's homes that they have to then come out and clean up after themselves. My neighbor the other day, she had dog messed up outside of her house and said, look, this is ridiculous. And she had to go out and wash it. She's not well. So why should you go along the street with your dog and not clean up after the pet that you have? It's disgusting. And that annoys me. Careless parents. I don't like people that just let their kids just roam where they want to and do what they want to. Young kids on the street, you know, the ones that are you're there forever calling their names, shouting out their names when their kids walked off a thousand miles down the road. That annoys me. That's careless parenting. Chewing food with your mouth open. I don't understand. Or even chewing, just chewing loudly, clapping your mouth, I call it. What, who are you singing to? It's out of tune. It doesn't make sense. Why is there people out there that chew with their mouth open? No one wants to see the contents of your food when you're chewing it. No one wants to hear you singing, clapping to the tune of your own sounds when you're doing it or eating the forks. That's another one. 
who eats their forks and why? Why do you eat your fork when you're eating? No one wants to hear you clang on the fork when you're eating. Those things annoy me and annoying neighbours who forever cuss, who forever are misbehaving, fighting or doing something else. Noisy neighbours annoy me. So what kinds of things can get on your nerves and more than they should? Again, I think it's the eating of the food that uh, it shouldn't really get on my nerves, should it? I mean, people eat and they should be allowed to eat how they want to eat. But when you're facing them or you're around the table with them and you're hearing these sounds and it doesn't sound really good, does it? So that's one thing that I really shouldn't get annoyed with, but it does get on my nerves. And I really have to drown it out, either have some background music or something like that going on in the background. But it's something that gets on my nerves. Please tell me that I'm not the only one who thinks about this. Or someone's on the phone and they're on the phone with you and they're eating and you can hear the sounds coming down the phone. Uh, you know, I, I have a friend, I'm not going to name her, name and shame her, but I have a friend who does that constant and she laughs because she always says, I'm getting off the phone because she's eating an apple or a packet of crisps. And those sounds are already loud. So why are you going to amplify it while you're speaking to me? So share with me what kind of things get on your nerves that really shouldn't get on your nerves. And what small things do you consider being rude? Do you find that, you know, people out there are just rude nowadays and inconsiderate? What do you find rude? I really would like to know that because I find little things nowadays is, I don't know if it's me getting older. Am I, am I turning into one of those, what we said we weren't going to be our parents? But everything is rude. I try to be positive and allow things to just go by because that's just energy, isn't it? But there is things that you, what do you consider being rude? I think turning up late for a meeting is rude. And especially now we're on, most of us are still working from home and we're doing Zoom meetings. Who's ever had a person that turned up late to a Zoom meeting? You're in your home. And then they're still coming with an excuse, being in your home, why they turn up late. Now that's uh, what I think is rude. So in the business realm, don't show up late on a Zoom meeting. Come on, how can you show up late and you're at home? That doesn't even make sense. And you know the number one excuse for that is? I had to reboot my computer. My computer shut down by mistake. Oh, I couldn't find the login details. There's a plethora of excuses that people make when you're working at home and you're doing a Zoom call. And what does your friends, co-workers or roommates that bugs, bugs you? I'll tell you the one thing that, that really gets to me is when someone says they can do it and they simply know they can't. They're going to go on YouTube and discover how to do it. But they've told you that they can do it. That's one of my pet peeves is don't say you can do something if you have to go and Google it or you have to YouTube it. It doesn't make sense. Just own it and say, look, I can't do it so that someone that can will do it. It was an incident that happened to me where someone said, oh, I can do that. And I left it to them. And at the ninth hour, oh, by the way, I can't do it. Does that even make sense? Come on. If you say you can do it, do it. And if you say you can't, you won't. But what bugs you um, to no end when what, about your friends, co-workers, or even roommates, or even your partner? Again, this week was just a bit of fun and highlighting what I think is pet peeves and just, just having an open discussion with you of things that I discuss with my friends and families and my team. But what irritates you? Share with me your pet peeves. But if you'd like to have a serious conversation with me and you could tune in next week where where using the past experience to shape your future can help you. Remember, you can reach out to me and book an appointment for a serious conversation about business or investing. And you can hit me up and book that appointment on SavvyWomen.co.uk. You can also reach out to me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube at 50 Savvy Women. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you enjoyed this week's pet peeves discussion and candid moments. It was just light and it was just fun. But I really want you to comment and tell me what your pet peeves are. Is it clapping the mouth? Ooh, <laughs> let's discuss, share it in the feed and I'll come back and comment and laugh along with you. Lovely speaking to you this week and I'd love to see you next week. Don't forget to book us. See you next week. Mm -hmm.